Okay, let's look at this problem number. I want you to just kind of look at number one for a second. Notice that it is, um, we do have a couple of radii here. When a radii meets a tangent, oh, I'm on the wrong problem. We do have a couple of radii here. And when a radii meets a tangent, we get right angles. Now I want you to think what kind of a shape is that? It's a quadrilateral. That should help you find this x value. Because here we have a right triangle, and I know that that angle is 90. I know all three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I know that they have to equal 90 plus 51 plus my x. And then I solve. I know 180 minus 90 minus 51 is going to give me this amount. So x is equal to 39 degrees. Does that make sense? I hope you can look. Once again, here's this radii burning into a tangent. So there's a right angle. So kind of think about that as you're doing those few problems. It's the same kind of problem as down here. They've already drawn a picture out here for you. They're telling you that the radius from here to here is 6,400 kilometers. So 6,400, 6,400. But what they're going to tell you is the height you're above the Earth is going to change. In this problem, we're 12 kilometers above. In your problem that you have to do, you're going to be 20 kilometers above. So what is the length of this whole line from here all the way out to there? Well, we have to add them together. The length of this whole red line is 6412 for me for this problem number four. What kind of a shape do I have? Well, it's a right triangle. So this will be my, let me add this in a different color again. This would be A, B, C, because my hypotenuse is always C. So we would know that A squared, 6400 squared, plus B squared, which is what I don't know, is going to equal 6412 squared. This is going to be a huge number, okay? What I would suggest you do is before you square it, just know you're going to subtract this on both sides. So I can do this right in the calculator. Watch how I'm doing it. I'm going to say 6412 squared minus 6400 squared. That's a lot better way to do it than to get those big numbers and write it down. So I know that the difference between those, or what b squared is, is 153744. And that's all in kilometers squared. Well, how do I find the square root? I'm going to take the square root of that. So I already have that number in there. I don't have to do anything. I can just hit second, that, and now I'm just going to type this exactly in. 153744. Four. Close my parentheses, hit enter. So I know the distance it's going to see, this B length, is for me 392, wants us to round it to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. So the tenth would be this one. And look just to the right, I've got a zero. So it's going to be equal to 392.1 kilometers is how far I can see. You're going to do the same kind of thing over here. I forgot to show you this step. The B is going to equal 392.102. And then we would round to the nearest tenth. Okay? Take a shot at that one. See how you do. Let's look here at number 8. It's a lot like 7 and a lot like 9. Once again, I've got a tangent bumping into a, a, a radius, so that's going to be a right angle. This is all A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This line... Add it all together is how big, though? X plus 8. And that's going to be, here's A, B, and C. So I'm going to have X squared plus 12 squared equals X plus 8 squared. That's going to scare some of you because you may think that's just X squared, 8, eight squared, but it is not x squared plus 144 is going to equal 
x plus 8 times x plus 8. And I'm going to get a piece of lined paper to do this problem because I think it's going to be too jammed up if I don't. Let me write it out again. Okay, that little square means I have two of that parenthesis. So right there you can see I'm going to do the, uh, some people call it the box method, some people call it the FOIL method. I just do the FOIL. First times first. O, here I'll write FOIL down for you. First times first. O stands for the outside pieces. The pieces furthest out, so we're going to have 8x. Now we do our inside pieces. And that's 8x2. We're going to multiply that. And then we do our last, which is this number and this number. And that gives me 64. Okay? So I know I don't like having x squared, so I'm going to try and get them together first. That's equal to 0, and that's equal to 0. Yay! All my x squareds are gone. So I have 144 equal to got to combine my like terms, 16x plus 64, subtract 64 on both sides, 16x is going to equal 80. Now I'm going to divide by 16, and we know x equals 5. That's kind of a big problem. You're going to have similar types of problems here in 7, and 9. If you can get to this step, we can work on this factoring a little bit during our learning seminar that we're going to have next time. Not this, not tomorrow, but the following time. This is also number 11. What they want you to say is, is the line tangent? Well, if the line is tangent, then a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared. So in my problem here, a, b, c, b squared and a squared have to equal 6 squared. All right, so that's 36. This is 9. And I'm going to square that. That's going to be 9. And the square root of 3 squared is 3. So does 9, that's 6, 9 plus 9 times 3 equal 36, the magic thing? It does. So if these are equal, then yes, this is tangent. This line right here is a tangent. Think back to when we did that. Skip 13. You don't need to do that one. And let's look at the back page here. Oh, you guys are going to love this. This is so easy. You're going to be so happy. Now, these are a bunch of tangent lines. I know, remember I told you that tangent lines are going to be equal. So from here to here is one tangent, and that same line is from here to here. Well, those two pieces are congruent, so this is 8 millimeters too. Okay. Then we have this one. It goes from here to here and here to here. Well, this one is 3, so that means this one has to be 3. Okay. Once again, we have 17 on that side, and that means this is also going to be 17. And one last one. We have, let's do yellow. From here to here is 7. That means from here to here is 7. Now they want to know what is the perimeter. What's the perimeter? So you have to add up all the sides. So let's just do that quickly in this problem. 8 plus 3 plus 3 plus 17 plus 17 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8. So you saw I was going around this circle just adding up all those numbers. What do I get? The perimeter is 70. That would be the answer to this one. Hopefully it's 70 millimeters. And that's the answer to 14. You should be able to do 15 and 17 now, just knowing that. 19, 
um, the peak of Mount Everest is, and I want you to draw this problem. We have a mountain, Mount Everest is a mountain, and the height of that mountain is 8,850 8, 8, meters above sea level. About how many kilometers is its peak of the peak of Mount Everest to the horizon if the Earth's radius, wow, this is an ugly one. Okay, well we know that's going to be this far, right? 8,850. So let's draw our Earth, and we're going to draw the mountain right here on top. And that is, the distance there is going to be 8,850 feet. And they tell me that the radius here is 6,400 feet. Meters, I'm sorry. Kilometers. This is meters, that's kilometers. So that means when I change this to kilometers, I'm going to move it in one decimal place. So it's 885 meters, I mean kilometers high. Now all my units are kilometers. That should make you a little happier. We also know that this radius is going to be 6,400 meters. That, I mean, is it meters or oh, they're kilometers? And they want to know what is this distance. Okay, that's your right angle. I know that doesn't look like the right angle, but it is. Okay? So, how would you do that? A squared. B squared is going to be the distance from the top of the mountain all the way down. So this is kind of like if you go back to what problem was that you had to do? Uh, problem 4, 5, and 6 on the front. It's the same kind of problem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So good luck with that, and um, I'll see you in class. Thanks. Bye.